What's going on guys? So here in this box is a PS3 Super Slim they bought from Goodwill and I actually had this thing sitting around for like four months. Um, I bought it back in April uh, after tax and shipping and everything. It cost like $90 which is uh, pretty steep. I mean if you look at eBay they sell for like $100 um, with just the console alone and used and that's basically what this is. It says dirty but works fine so uh, we'll see. I honestly remember buying this so that I could flip it on eBay for a few bucks but I think when I looked at them, uh, PS3 Super Slims were going for a little bit more than $100 because if you buy this thing for $90 and then ship it to somebody and you only sell it for $100, bucks, you are losing money. So uh, de definitely not a good investment if that's what I was doing. But honestly, I don't remember exactly why I bought it because it's been four months. But let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside. All right. So basically, like I said, came from Goodwill. Um, Goodwill has like an auction site, kind of like eBay. Not quite as robust, but you can find some pretty decent stuff on there. Um, I wouldn't say you can find anything for a steal. I mean, you probably could, but um, the same people that are lurking eBay are probably lurking Goodwill as well. Uh, they actually sell a lot of video game stuff on there. All right, got this thing sliced open now. Let's see what we've got in here. Got an interesting bag that uh, has the ca cables in it, I guess. Yeah, so in the bag, I guess, is the cables, but it's from a store called B. Dalton bookseller never heard of that i think this came from north dakota so i guess this is a bookstore up in north dakota all right so there's some cables we got our power cable and a usb cable now that's an interesting power cable i've never seen a power cable like this with a right angle on it i'm sure they're out there but i know they're out there because i've seen it right now but never actually seen one of those before that's interesting and i believe this is a console only no controller and yep that's correct all right, so here's the console, bubble wrap pretty well. It's got the thick bubble wrap and it's wrapped all around the edges and stuff. So it's actually a pretty good packing job. Um, in my experience, Goodwill actually does a pretty solid packing job on their auction stuff, which is kind of surprising to be honest. The only downside to bubble wrap is it takes a while to unpack stuff, but that's definitely a better alternative than broken stuff. But here's the console. Now, it said dirty in the description, but honestly, it's not too bad. I mean, here's the top. I guess you guys can see that. It's got a little bit of dust, but, I mean, you can see a little bit of dust in the crevices. Not bad. You slide this open, you can see the disc tray. Got a little bit of dust, but, yeah, not bad. Um, obviously, this is glossy down here, so there's scratches on it. Nothing past what I would expect from a used console, though. And then here on the front, hopefully you can see that kind of dark there, but two USB ports. It's always funny looking at the USB ports. You can see where people try to plug it in blindly and there's like scratches all around it. Um, it looks pretty good. Bottom looks pretty good as well. A little bit of dust and dirt, but not bad. Got all your feet. Warranty sticker is still intact. That's a good sign. And then here on the back, got your serial number, CECH 4001B. And yeah, I mean, you got your power, AV, optical, HDMI, LAN. Um, yeah, so it looks good. Honestly, this is not bad for a used console from goodwill um i've seen a whole lot worse on ebay and from gamestop definitely i mean gamestop would take a piece of sandpaper and scratch all your glossy parts up which is the really unfortunate part about gamestop um so let's go ahead and plug this thing in we'll test out some games the internet and make sure it works all right guys so i got the ps3 set up um came with this cable right here so i'm plugging it into my own controller and then it also came with that right angled power cable got that plugged in uh it did not come with an hdmi cable so i'm using my own but we've got a good sign here, already plugged it in, it's got a red light here, so let's go ahead and see if this thing boots up. Um, got a power light, and that thing works. This is always, this is a really amusing disc tray, or disc drive, whatever you want to call it, um, because it's so, so simple, but works. I mean, that's kind of how they do it with the slim consoles. Alright, so now that i got my TV on, I can see it, it says the system was not turned off properly the last time it was used file system may be corrupt so I'm guessing that came from the fact that they tested it out at Goodwill and then probably just unplugged it probably did not turn it off properly um, I also got a game game to try out as well Modern Warfare 2 let's go ahead and put that in the console and like I was saying really amusing disk drive so simple but works and it's cheap alright so as a result of it corrupting the file system or potential corruption it's um, restoring the file system and restarting now alright so here we go it's booting up Got that classic PS3 sound, but let's see if I got any users saved on here. It's always interesting. Got user one, so probably not. Um, probably just a user they created so they could test it out. Yeah, I don't see anything here. I don't see any saved data in any of these folders. All right, so let's try out the Modern Warfare 2 game. And 
on a PS3, you're always doing it's booting up that little circle in the right hand corner. So it boots right up and we're good to go. All right, and pretty quickly, we're up to the uh, startup screen. Some classic nostalgia right here, having to set your horizontal margin for Modern Warfare 2. And here we are, special ops, campaign, multiplayer. I don't hear any sound. Um, so I'm hoping that's my TV, but let me try this real quick and try to turn the sound on. So that's really interesting. I just turned my sound up to 40 out of 100, so I should definitely be able to hear it now, but I hear nothing. That's odd. And I definitely heard sound on the main menu just a minute ago, so let's quit out of this and see if it'll pop up. Like, I heard the sound when we booted up the console, but I do not hear it anymore. There it is. So now I hear the clicking noise when it goes back and forth, but I didn't hear it in the game. Yeah, so it's definitely still got no noise. That Infinity Ward logo makes like a bunch of noises when it boots up, and there should be a soundtrack right here, but there's not. I'm gonna try a different game and see if it's an issue with the game or not. All right, so we got another Call of Duty game, Call of Duty Ghosts this time. So let's see if this boots up. That'd be a really odd issue for the sound to work on the main menu, but not in a game. All right, so we are on the main menu now, and I still do not hear any sound. Could be a bad HDMI cable, but you know, if it was any bad, any kind of bad hardware, you would think that it would affect the. Uh, main menu sound as well so maybe it's something set in software um, so my next step is to try to reset the entire console and see if that'll help all right so we're back to just our standard setup so got to set all this stuff up and I did hear noise so that's a good sign okay so let me go ahead and plug in my Ethernet cable let's get some internet on this thing who knows maybe on the off chance that it needed internet to play sound that makes absolutely no sense I mean you can definitely hear right now clicking when you go side to side now let's try out Call of Duty Ghosts again. Hopefully we get some, some sound. I mean, I restored everything, so if there was a software setting that was enabled that disabled sound for games, then it should be fixed by now. All right, so we are updating this game. While I was waiting for the update to start, I got kind of some, some interesting uh, stuff happened. So the screen is like flashing from black to gray, and I heard a couple pops, and it sounded like it, I sounded like I heard sound for a, a second or two, but I'm not sure. All right, guys, so it is booting up now, and there is sound. So, not sure what happened, but it seems to work now. Yeah, definitely sound here. Cool. All right, so now I gotta go try Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 real quick and make sure that has sound as well. But Call of Duty Ghosts has sound after the update. No idea if the update had anything to do with it. I highly doubt it because uh, obviously the game should have, had, should have had sound from the beginning. But yeah, let's try out Modern Warfare 2 real quick. All right, so Modern Warfare 2 definitely has sound now. But there's also an update for this one as well, so I guess we'll go ahead and update this one too. Yeah, you can hear the sound, the soundtrack, and everything now. Yeah, I have no idea what happened. Don't know why the sound worked on the main menu, but not in games. Really weird. I've never actually seen that on a console before, and I've tested out tons of consoles, so pretty weird. But I mean, uh, everything works. Console works, and it's honestly not in bad condition, especially for a used console from Goodwill. They even said it was dirty in the description, and it honestly is not dirty. I mean, there's a little bit of dust here and there, but nothing past what you'd expect from a normal used console. Uh, disk drive opens up fine, um, you know, the games work fine, sound works fine after some troubleshooting. It was a decent deal for a working PS3 Super Slim. 90 bucks is a little bit cheaper than what you find on eBay. Like I said, I, I think I originally purchased this with the intention of flipping this on eBay and making like, I don't know, 20 or 30 bucks, which is hardly worth the time. But I guess prices either went down or either that or I was just not paying attention to the pricing because Super Slims go for go on eBay for like 100 bucks now. I paid 90 for this. So by the time you ship it out and stuff, you're losing money. Uh, I'm not sure what I was thinking there. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like down below and subscribe for future content. Uh, have a great day.